survivor of the terror attack on the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. Joining us from Cholon in central Israel. Amit, I can't imagine the things that you've seen, but I want you to share your story with us as much as you can. Thank you very much for having me. On the Saturday of October 7th, uh, we were at the music festival enjoying uh, beats and tunes, and uh, we were dancing and laughing and having so much fun. Uh, 6.30 a.m., uh, music suddenly stopped. We've uh, realized, okay, rockets are shooting. As uh, we were waiting for more friends, now you're showing their pictures, they were en route to the festival. Um, we've tried to find a place to hide. We've called our friends. They told us they uh, found a safe place in Migunit, uh, which is a concrete uh, uh, shelter. We were hiding from rockets. As me and my uh, three other friends made our way to the car and eventually escaped the festival, En route, we were calling uh, again our friends, and they told us we are in Mefalsim, which is a kibbutz uh, by the uh, in the Gaza envelope. Um, they've said that there are shootings, and this is it. This is the last time we've heard from them. Well, we are escaping. We saw uh, one big white savanna that was completely shot uh, down, possibly by shooters. We didn't realize yet that we have terrorist face-to-face -face terrorist encounters. Um, we were still escaping from rockets until we arrived to Urim, which is another area in the Gaza envelope, where we find some asylum. They told us there is a terrorist here, and we started to hear all the things that happened in the festival. So uh, the picture now is showing Adir and Shiraz Tamam. Uh, they are a couple, married couple, uh, and... Uh, they, we've been looking up for them for, for a few days, and then we got the bad message that their bodies had been allocated, not on the same day, by the way. So uh, Adir was buried on Friday, and uh, Shiraz was buried uh, the following uh, uh, Sunday, uh, together with, uh, with Celine, her friend, that is also on the picture. Um, they are all parents, Adir and Shiraz, they are the parents of my... Uh, daughter's best friends, Goshen, she's 10 years old, and Gili, she's 8, in the 5th and the, and the 3rd grades. Uh, Celine left behind the 6-month-old uh, baby Ellie, which is still uh, breastfeeding. Uh, and those are the results on, on, uh, on our small tribe of uh, people who, who laugh and uh, enjoy life and also enjoy going to music festivals. The relationship between me and Atir is uh, ongoing since I was 14. Today I'm 40. And uh, with Shiraz, since Adir knew her in, uh, almost uh, 12 years ago. And they've built a beautiful home, and now they left behind orphan daughters. And uh, we are trying to find some help for this uh, poor family and to try to secure their financial future. So we've opened a GoFundMe page. And if anyone would like to log in and, and maybe to contribute something that would be helping. So we have the QR code you can scan or also go to GoFundMe and the campaign number is 283-69701. And we'll appreciate any type of contribution, any help to any family, to anyone in need right now. Um, people can contribute also to the IDF um, and uh, standing with us in Israel as uh, we are facing a very, very monstrous enemy uh, that only wants to destroy and to kill and to brutally butcher bodies of babies and kidnapping grandmothers and raping young girls. This is our enemy. This is who they are. Amit, I'm glad that you brought up this GoFundMe so that you can tell our audience how to help in a more direct sense, as well as someone who has dealt with so much grief and pain in the past few weeks, how do you and what is your message to other Israelis on how to stay strong in these times? It's like a cliche, but uh, since we are a nation of uh, that existing more than 3,000 years, we know from our history that only when we were united, we were standing strong. And that's the reality. We all know the political situation in Israel in the in the passing uh, years. Um, uh, it's very unstable. Possibly Hamas took the advantage of uh, uh, this uh, political situation. Uh, but only when we are together, we stand strong. That's, that's my only advice right now. And we need the world to acknowledge 
the truths and realities. I'm going on social media. I'm seeing so much lies supporting the Hamas in Gaza. I'm not saying supporting the Palestinians. I'm not speaking as Hamas is representing all Palestinians. I believe that there are peaceful people. I myself a peaceful person. I'm never was in war. I was never supporting war. I always thought that peace is a solution. Unfortunately, now, like I learned the true reality that that the, there is no way we can allow Hamas to stay in Gaza. It's destroying Gaza. It's giving them no future. So there is no reason for it to stay. I mean, I'm glad there are people like you helping others in these times. And our message is for you as well that we're all united and stay strong. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.